There is only one word for peace in English, uh, but there are many uh, different synonyms in Chinese. If you are well with other people, um, that is peace. If there is no war, um, that is also peace. If our relationships with other people are okay, that is peace also. And it is my hope that today you can also speak to others about this peace. That the first kind of peace is, uh, that Christ offers us is for us to be well with God. Peace with God. Um, the first thing is that we might have peace with God. There's a very simple illustration that a pastor gave. When God created man, uh, the right hand represents God. Uh, the left hand represents man. Uh, God and man were um, well. At peace. God wanted to speak to man and man likewise. Once man sinned, uh, man became fearful of God. While man and uh, God were at peace, after man sinned, uh, God turned his face away. We do not see his loving face, but more we see his uh, just, uh, justice. And so man turned also. And man walked farther and farther away. When Jesus came, he brought those people who are far away to come near. And when Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross, uh, the, God, uh, the face of God turned around. I have taken care of man's sin. And man turned. What is called repentance? Repentance is turning around to seek God. And the closer that you get to God, you call that prayer. Very simply, the first thing is that Christ offers us peace with God. Uh, when Christ came, he took away uh, the gap that was between God and man. And man and God could once again be intimately close. This is the first peace. Peace with God. That man could be at peace with God. Peace with God. It is very uh, easy to remember. Um, but um, but uh, even then, uh, the degree could be different. Uh, we see that often in hymns uh, that the different kinds of spiritual lives that people have are often um, described. Um, uh, maybe some hymn would say, uh, Lord, uh, draw me closer. And those who are from afar perhaps will draw closer. Uh, some will say, uh, Lord, um, bring me within you. Uh, that we might be one. Let us remember. Every time you pray, uh, why is it that we pray in Jesus' name? It is because uh, Christ uh, brought God and man back together. Um, the closer that you get to God, uh, the more true and real your prayer will become. The second kind of peace that Christ offers it is that we might have peace in God. Uh, after man sinned, um, when the first um, 
first man ate of the forbidden fruit, a man was no longer in right relationship with God. They became very fearful of God. And when God came, a man hid. Well, Christ came to bring us together with God. The second piece. After man sinned, um, um, trouble came. Jesus Christ said, In this world you will have tribulations. Whether you believe in Christ or not, you will have tribulations. Is this true? Uh, when the peso is falling, uh, do you feel that? Uh, when there is no um, peace, uh, insecurity in the country, do you feel that? And when you hear that there are bombings, do you feel that? But notice what is the second peace that Christ offers us. Jesus Christ says, In this world you will have tribulations, but in me you shall have peace. In me you shall have peace. You can rest assured, I have overcome the world. This is very important. Uh, there's a very famous uh, ship in history called the Titanic. Uh, it, was a very, uh, it was the largest boat in its time. And people were saying that it was unsinkable. And the captain was proud. And um, traveled north. And uh, the weather was uh, getting cold. And uh, they ran into an iceberg. And he said, um, how could uh, this ship uh, be afraid of an iceberg? Uh, they did not listen and move forward. Uh, they hit the iceberg and the water came in. And uh, the boat sank. Uh, they left far. Uh, there were not enough lifeboats. Everyone was afraid. And what is one to do? Uh, who do you uh, allow to get to the lifeboat? Everyone wanted to have a place. Uh, this is true. Uh, there was a pastor who said, uh, A pastor on the, on the ship said, uh, Those of us who are Christians, why should we fear death? Uh, he said, All of you who believe in Jesus, um, you stay here, and those who do not believe, let them have their spl- spot on the, on the, on the boat. Um, and they were singing there, um, Nearer, my God, to me. Uh, that is a hymn that many know, um, Nearer, my God, to me. When the ship was sinking, uh, uh, people were not um, arguing as to whether they could get on the boat or not. Because those of them who believe in Christ had peace within. This is the true story. And why should you believe in Jesus? If you believe in Jesus, there would still be tribulations. And if you don't believe, likewise. Um, if you believe or not believe in Jesus, your house can still uh, Whether you believe in Christ or not, the pestle will fall. But there is one difference. Jesus Christ says, in this world you will have trouble, but in me you will have peace. This is the second peace that Christ offers. The first peace that he offers is peace with God. Peace with God. It's very easy to remember. 
we can pray. Uh, whatever things we meet with, we can pray. We are close with God. The second peace that Christ offers is that in Him we can have peace. We have peace in God. We can have trouble in the world, but we have peace within. But there are two others. They haven't come yet. And these are the two kinds of peace that will only come about when Christ comes again. The third kind of peace is peace on earth. Uh, there is a name um, which will cover all these nations. Uh, when the mother of Jesus, Mary, uh, uh, conceived, Angel Gabriel said, um, uh, you, will, uh, you will give birth to a son. Uh, God will give David's throne to him. And in Isaiah, there is also the prophecy. There is going to be a glorious king. Let me ask you, when Jesus Christ was born, did he become a king? Did he sit on David's throne? When we pray, uh, Jesus Christ told, uh, taught us the Lord's Prayer. Uh, may your um, name be hallowed. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, is God's will entirely here on earth? It is not yet. When Jesus Christ comes a second time, there will be true peace. Because the Bible says in Revelation 20, uh, that Satan will be bound for a thousand years. Um, look at Isaiah chapter 2. Isaiah chapter 2. Uh, from verses 2 to 4. What now it will come about that in the last days the mountain of the house of the Lord will be established as a chief of the mountains and will be raised above the hills and all the nations will stream to it. And many peoples will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us concerning his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For the law will go forth from Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, and he will judge between the nations, will render decisions for many peoples. They will hammer their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not lift up sword against nation, and never again will they learn War. If you will go uh, to the United States outside the building of the United States, uh, Nations, uh, you will find verse 4 written there. Uh, the most important work of the United Nations is to bring about peace. Uh, that this country will not fight another. Uh, swords will be turned into plowshares. Spears into pruning hooks. When will this happen? Do we find in the papers that there is peace entirely on earth? 
vô biển bị. Um, is Israel um, at peace with its neighbors? Trong có cái Tài Nguyên Hoàn Toàn Thống Nhất bị. Um, is China and Taiwan unified? Yeah, so the day by go lại. When Jesus Christ comes the second time. Thế thì, nên chỉ ông mang đi lại, Yêu Chúa có lại, thì tôi sẽ đến. This is something we look forward to. Thế thì này, giờ nó sẽ đến. Israel sẽ có hòa cùng. Um, it will come when Israel is at peace. In Kapire Kamani Yakong, Sean David Chong Tai Pire Wui, or the Chirigina, Simisi Yasong Bitsi Tai Pire Wui, they be by Golai. Gabriel told Mary that the seat or uh, throne of David will be Jesus. Simisi Chaboko Kaujin. When will there be a cessation of war? Yasong Bitsi Tai Pire Wui. When Jesus Christ comes a second time. When Sai Kai Wang Jimmy Yarosarian, they come. And the whole world will look to Jerusalem. We thank God for this third kind of peace. Uh, but there is yet another kind of peace. And this is peace in the whole universe. Uh, Revelation chapters 21 and 22 speak of it very clearly. After the thousand years are passed, um, Satan will be let go for a short period of time. Because there are also people who were born in the thousand years. Uh, and it would not be right if they are uh, not similarly uh, shown to be faithful. After the t- thousand years, uh, God has a book. And in this uh, book of life, you will look for names. And those who are not in that book of life, they are thrown into the lake of fire. That is the real lake of fire. And Satan will be thrown there likewise. There will no longer be Satan. Then there will be peace throughout the universe. Do you know the name of Satan? Uh, his real name. His real name in Hebrew. Um, Diabolos. Bolos. Uh, there are two uh, people. Uh, Satan. Um, came in between God and Adam and Adam was fearful Um, Satan gets to your house and then uh, um, a couple fight Um, your brothers fight there is no peace in your house there is no peace between friends because uh, the devil uh, comes in between we thank God the second time that Christ comes, there will be the fourth kind of peace. There will be great peace in the whole universe. There are a few Bible passages that you uh, don't always notice. Um, 2 Peter chapter 3. 2 Peter chapter 3. Uh, verses 4 till 13. Peter Hosu Second Peter chapter three. This is that Aki. We'll read from verse four. Two Kang in Yangu to Lore, three day cock honey. Where is the promise of his coming? For ever since the fathers fell asleep, all continues just as it was from the beginning. When they maintain this, it escapes their notice that by the word of God, the heavens existed long ago, and the earth was formed out of water and by water. Verse 6. The first time man sinned, the world was destroyed with water. Verse 7. 
The present heavens and earth by His word are being reserved. Kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men. It is going to be uh, it's reserved for destruction by fire. Uh, especially notice this verse. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. In that day, the heavens will pass away with a roar, and the elements will be destroyed. The elements will be destroyed with intense heat. And the earth and its works will be burned up. Since all these things are to be destroyed in this way, what sort of people ought you to be? Um, in, you, should be, you should have holy conduct and godliness as you look forward for the day of God's coming on account of which the heavens will be destroyed by burning and the elements will melt with intense heat but according to his promise we are looking for a new heaven a new earth in which righteousness dwells uh, we know that the person who was the prime mover behind the United Nations was President Roosevelt of the United States. Uh, at the end of the Second World War, uh, Roosevelt, uh, who was on his fourth term, uh, said that the most important thing is that there should be peace he liked this verse of scripture. Uh, the old will pass away. There will be a new heaven and a new earth. Um, when Jesus Christ comes a second time, notice um, the, uh, the nation of Israel um, has been restored. Uh, one day Christ will be king in Israel. He will sit on David's throne. Man will no longer be at war. After those thousand years are passed, uh, Satan will come again for a short period of time. And after that time is passed, God will burn everything that is um, present at this time. Uh, because this earth has greatly sinned against her God. Um, 2 Peter chapter 3 tells us that all the things that are made of the elements uh, will be burned. Where will we be? Uh, the new heaven and the new earth will come. If you look carefully at the book of Revelation, uh, we can have uh, great comfort. How big is heaven? Is there a capital city to heaven? Um, there will be a new heavens, a new earth. How big is Manila? Uh, new York is bigger than Manila. Chicago is also very big. Uh, Tokyo is very big. How big is heaven? Uh, it is 4,000 miles wide, long and high. It is 4,000 miles uh, wide, long and tall. Um, is there anyone who is rich enough to pave his streets with gold? Um, heaven. Uh, Christ has prepared a place for us. The streets are paved with gold. Uh, the walls with precious stones. Um, the gates of pearl. Um, the names of the twelve tribes will be written on it. Um, the twelve foundations, the apostles of Christ. Um, all, all, all these precious stones will be there. 
Uh, there will be no need for a temple. Uh, there will be no need for a police. Uh, the doors will be open. Because Satan has been thrown to the lake of fire. A river of life will run through it. Uh, things will not decay. Uh, things will not be destroyed. A man will not become old. We thank God. Um, when we think of these things, we realize how precious God's salvation is. Uh, those of us who go to heaven will no longer be old. Um, in heaven, um, they will greet you on your 100th birthday. Um, right now, you say, um, Pastor Shah, you're 84, you're old. I told you uh, if I walk, perhaps I'll need to get um, If I come up the stage, people have to hold me. Uh, my hair has disappeared. Uh, my teeth are all um, but Christ will give us an entire salvation that we will have a new and glorious body the Bible tells us uh, Jesus Christ along with three of his disciples go up to a mountain there were two people who, um, um, who showed themselves to them one was Moses the other was Elijah. And did uh, Peter say that there were two really old men who showed up? Um, he said, uh, Lord, uh, allow us to build three dwellings. One for you. One for Moses. And another one for Elijah. Uh, at that time, how old was Moses? Uh, 1,400 years old. How old was Elijah? 800 years old. Uh, we thank God. Uh, the fourth peace that Christ gives is the one that is real salvation. It is peace throughout the whole universe. Why is it that we need to rebuild our seminary? Uh, at first it was wooden. And then we said, uh, we could just repair that. Uh, but later on, we realized we can't do that because of termites. And that um, if there is fire and uh, things like that, it could be very dangerous. Are there termites in heaven? There are no such things. The Bible tells us. Um, are there f uh, funeral parlors in heaven? The final enemy that will be defeated is death. We thank the Father. There will be peace. Uh, we need not fear because there will no longer be quarrels. Uh, there will be no such things as mother-in-laws. Because everything will be at peace. You'll see that everyone will be together. What kind of peace does Christ offer us? It is very easy to remember. The first peace that Christ offers um, is peace with God. Peace with God. Alright, everybody be able to pray. When man repents and turns around, he becomes united with God once again. The second pe Christ, uh, uh, peace that Christ offers. In this world, you will have tribulation. Um, we are not um, pulling your leg here. In me, you will have peace. You can be at peace. I have overcome the world. Um, believers and non-believers will have trouble, um, but we will have peace in the midst of trouble. But when the Titanic was sinking, um, there are people who are still singing.
Becky Yangkok. Uh, there is this um, sister who loved God who was going to go to England. So undek nga. And um, the boat was about to leave. Wow, to hong yung. And there were the uh, great waves. Akwante si bilik bilok nito. And then people saw the sister uh, kneeling in prayer. Nikan bok nga. Um, and ask her, um, are you not afraid? When, and what happens when the ship sinks? She said, uh, why should I be afraid? And if the boat doesn't sink and I, I meet my daughter in England, if the boat sinks, I go to heaven and meet my other daughter. Um, is this person, has this person yeah, so overcome the world? Um, the second kind of peace that Christ offers us is within our troubles, we will have peace in God. But there are two kinds of peace that are yet to come. Uh, peace on earth. There will no longer be any wars. There will no longer be trouble. Um, that is called the Millennial Kingdom. Jesus Christ will be King. His Kingdom uh, will have its Jerusalem for its capital. After the thousand years are passed, uh, the Great Judgment, uh, who is judged first? Peter tells us that those who believe in Christ, Remember, uh, it is not that uh, those of us who believe have no judgment. Um, it is just that those of us who believe in Christ no longer need to suffer eternal destruction. But in heaven, there is a record. Every time uh, there is a graduation at Hope Christian, I have my, uh, these reflections. Uh, there, are, uh, there are many parents who are there. Um, what they look for the most is uh, for the principal to announce that their uh, children have some kind of award. Uh, there are other people who go and ask, uh, did my son pass? Um, they all pass, but they need to take an extra exam. Um, uh, and, and Christ would have a book of life. Um, those who believe in Jesus Christ will have eternal life. But not everyone will have a prize. A thousand years will pass. Satan is bound. Uh, Satan is someone who gets in the way of people. Uh, but he will not come around again. There will be great peace in the universe. There are four kinds of peace. Peace with God. Peace in God. Peace on earth. His will will be done in heaven as it, uh, on earth as it is in heaven. And lastly, after Satan is thrown to the lake of fire, we thank God. There will be peace in the universe. Let's bow our head and pray. So Amen.